Hi, this is Craig Daniels from Craig's Classroom. When we're browsing the internet, we come across an enormous amount of information, and it's too much for us to be able to absorb at that moment. So how do we find those articles again in the future? And even the articles that we do have time to read, we know that some of those we want to come back and make reference to when the time is ready to apply something or to share it with somebody. So today's lesson is going to be about using Google Bookmarks and how that tool, that free tool from Google is going to help us to be able to find those articles and go back to them and share them in a more efficient way. So let's get started with our Google Bookmarks. Uh, let's go to the home page of Active Rain. It's where you often there's lots of articles there that you wish you can remember in the future. Um, and there was one this morning from Bill and Liz, uh, Miss Bad Manners Guide to Commenting. So let's let's take a look at that. I already did actually, and I want to bookmark this one. <coughs> so. In Active Rain, there is a feature that you can do bookmarks. If you scroll to the bottom of any post, you'll see that there is a link <coughs> that you can click on to do a bookmark. That's this one here. And if I were to click on that, which I, I'll go ahead and do that so I can show you how that works, then what you'll do is if you go back through your home page and then scroll down on the sidebar over on the left, one of the options is going to be about your bookmarks <clears throat> and you'll see that one that I just bookmarked comes to the top of the list now this may work for the last most recent bookmarks that you have so you can quickly go back and find the ones that you've most recently tagged but as, as you bookmark more and more things you see oops well this this is really not helping me save any time because now I've got to go search through all my bookmarks so once I discovered Google bookmarks <coughs> Uh, I really have stopped using the the active rain bookmarks because Google bookmarks lets you really index things and quickly find it and I'll I'll show you how that works as we go along. <coughs> so Google bookmarks I, I wrote a post about uh, working with your custom toolbar. Now you see I've got a custom toolbar. I've got my different active rain pages that I go to, but I've also got these buttons over here that I my labels that I put on them. You can choose whatever you want, but I chose GB to go to my Google Bookmarks list and GB Plus, which is add a new bookmark. And if you want to go to my catalog, you'll see it in my my blog signature, a link to my catalog. Uh, you can go back, and I'll also put it in the show notes here. But you can see here's my. You really don't ever have to worry about bookmarking me because all except for this one page. This is my catalog page, and I I organize everything by categories for you. So you'll see under my Google category, um, I have a, a page talking about this this very topic, which is Google Bookmarks. And in that post is where I talk about how to do this. But I also am now wanting to do the video tutorial to actually show you, because it's such I think it's such an important topic. Um, but in here is where I talk about how do you make these this toolbar. So you can have these buttons on your toolbar. Uh, I'll leave that for the article to for you to go through. I'm not going to show you more about that now. Just to just to note that you you can very easily create these buttons. <clears throat> so if we go back to the home page of Active Rain, let's go back to Bill and Liz's post. So the home page, I scroll down, I go into their article. And now I want to add this to Google Bookmarks. So I'm going to go to my on my toolbar, GB+. And by the way, I use abbreviations on my toolbar. That way I can fit a lot more buttons than if I had written out long descriptions for each of these buttons. So in my mind, these are my abbreviations that I think of, and that's why I use the abbreviations. So I'm going to click the GB+. I get the pop-up for Google Bookmarks. And really, the one thing that I, is most important that uh, that you don't get in active rain bookmarks is the ability to tag or label it. So la it, Google calls it labels. I call it tags because that's what we're familiar with. It's the same thing. But these are the keywords uh, that 
you can re that you think of that say if I'm going to think of this article in the future what are the keywords that I'm going to want to recall them by so this is like an index it's a way to index your posts so I'm going to I'll put in active rain and as she as I start to type in something it pulls up the list of the previous tags or labels that I've used and that's important because we talked about wanting to group our our labels together uh, if we were inconsistent maybe one time on one article we said first time home buyer and another article we tagged it first time home buyers and we made it plural well all of a sudden our index now is getting mixed up and it's not consistent so we can um, we can be consistent because it's going to pop up uh, with the the choices of the tags that we've already used and we can just pick those uh, so I like to do um, a reference to the author of the article because I often think of the author so let's put B Liz as my is what we all would think of in that case and then I'm going to think of another keyword about this article which is comments or commenting so let me type in I don't have any of those yet so let's do commenting as my keyword since I didn't have any in my previously used list so I'll use commenting and uh, in this particular case that's probably all that I need to do so I'll just click the add book bookmark button and now it's in my bookmarks so let's go to my bookmarks page so that you can see that so if I click on my GB button that takes me to my Google bookmarks page and you can see by default uh, this this bookmarks page is like active rain bookmarks it brings the most recent bookmark to the top of the list but as you can see as I scroll down here I've got all these articles I've got one two three four five pages and all of a sudden again if I had to go searching just by scrolling uh, that would be a difficult thing so um, I can let me demonstrate in fact uh, how quickly this this Google bookmarks can be used uh, I often get asked about how do I embed a YouTube video so in my mind uh, I, I can recall an article that Tara Cummins wrote uh, about doing that exact thing so I'm going to use my Google bookmarks now watch how fast it is I can find this article uh, I can type in a keyword like in my search box up here embed and there's there's some different articles about embedding and down there at the bottom it says video tutorial easy way to add video um, also I besides typing it in up here I like to use this sidebar here this is like a book index you can see all of the different words I've indexed and right there is my embed tag so whereas the search kind of pulled up different articles regardless of the tags it, it pulled up um, it, the ones that it found based on content as well but I, I think I find a more targeted search when I just search by tag so if I come to the sidebar and click embed uh, it's going to give me just the two articles that I have actually tagged with the with the tag embed and the second one there is the tutorial by Tara uh, so I'll go ahead and click on that and that's the, the article that I was looking for as far as um, how to embed a YouTube video into your blog so you see in in the Google bookmarks just to illustrate how quickly then that you can use Google bookmarks to uh, find something that you can go back and reference for yourself or it might be an article that you wanted to share with somebody else so there you have it that's Google bookmarks um, I'm sure that if you if you play with it a little bit you gotta set up that toolbar for it to really be effective so it takes a little bit of setup time but it's definitely worth it in the end I think I've been using it for quite a while now and it just it's it's very efficient as you can see uh, the other thing that I like about it is that it's sort of a cloud reference and it's not specific just to active rain I could be tagging articles all over the the, the web uh, and then regardless of which computer I'm on if it's my work computer my home computer eventually I'll get a tablet computer it's going to be on all of those computers because it's it's in the cloud as long as I'm signed in to Google so there's the Google bookmarks I hope you learned something today be sure and check out my Facebook page. It's uh, facebook.com slash Craig's Classroom. And you can find me also on Twitter at twitter.com slash 
techzmx. Appreciate you joining me today, and we'll catch you soon.